Hello dear students, welcome to G-Lecta. So today I am going to teach you English that is grammar. So you can guess now the today's topic is connectives and conjunctions. This is really interesting topic. So now let's get started with it. So as you know that you know connectives and conjunctions you can guess by the name too. There are some words such as for and nor, but, or yet, so, so these words are to be called connectives or conjunctions because we can use these words in order to connect, in order to connect two phrases to you. So let's get started. So you might be thinking what are connectives and conjunctions. So here I'll be giving you the correct definitions of connective and conjunctions. So a phrase used to connect clauses inside the sentence is to be called connective for example within the following sentences but because are conjunctions so you can say that but and because these two words are conjunctions means they are used to connect two phrases it was raining but there wasn't any words so we can say that we couldn't go out because of such weather. So here we can say that this is the word but and because. These two words are the connect conjunctions. So these two words are the conjunctions here. So next conjunctions can be divided into two parts. Coordinating conjunctions, subjective conju subjecting conjunctions. Conjunction can be divided into two parts. Coordinating conjunctions, subjecting conjunctions. Now, let's get started with coordinating conjunction. So, these join two conditions of equivalent weight. Yes, we have to understand that these conjunctions, these two coordinating conjunctions, join two conditions of equivalent weight. Suppose, you know, the example of coordinating conjunctions are for and nor but or yet so so these are multiple examples of coordinating conjunctions so though you know i would like to give you some examples on that too would you like some would you like some tea or would you prefer coffee so tea and coffee they are probably of the two they are probably belonging to the same family too and of same weight beverages so tea or coffee so would you like some tea or would you prefer coffee or and or or but are likely likewise used to join words or expression in clauses too yes we can use and or and but to join the words or expression in clauses too so there are the there are two uses of it now, moving to the next thing, subjecting conjunctions. What are subjecting conjunctions? These two, these go towards this part of a subordinate clause. Yes, subordinate clause according to it. So, subjecting means subject, means very start word of the sentence. So, it's just like that. So, subjecting conjunctions, these go toward the start of a subordinate clause. So, it's like that. So multiple examples of subjective conjunctions are although, before, after, since, unless. So these are multiple examples of subjecting conjunctions. Now, there are also some sentences showing it. I was tired because all because of all the exercise today. I was tired because of all the exercise today. The second sentence is, although I love working out, it sometimes gets exhausting. The next sentence is, I was sleepy when I got home. So these words are showing the subjecting clauses, subjecting. So these words are showing subjecting conjunctions. Yes, so now moving to the connective conjunctions. 
So a connective conjunction is a word or expression that joins clauses or sentences. So we know that you know conjunctions are the words between the sentences that join two phrases. So here connective can be a word or clause or expression that join two clauses or sentences. Connectives can be conjunctions, but when the cause. So a connective can be a conjunctions. And a connective can be a conjunction. Connecting adverbs are, however, then therefore. There are examples of connective conjunctions too. So the connectives are your and, then, first, because, while, but, when, so, next, last, after, and finally. These are multiple examples of connective conjunctions. Now, so there are, or there are further examples out there. You can take help out of it. So, in addition, you can have also, furthermore, moreover, in case of opposition, you can use, however, nevertheless, on the other hand, in case of opposition. Reinforcing, you can use besides, anyway, after all. Or explaining, you have to use, for example, in other words, that is to say. So these are connective in which you are able to connect two clauses together. We have discussed all types of connective conjunctions. Now, there are some examples. So the rest of it, it's like for listing the words you can use. Firstly, you know, if you want to list something, so you can use these words. Firstly, first of all, finally, in case of indicating results, what you can use? Therefore, consequently, as a result, indicating time you can use, just then, meanwhile, and later. So these are a bunch of words you can use while using the connective conjunctions in different manners. Now, Commas are often used to mark off connecting adverbs or adverbial phrases or clauses. So it's like, you know, first of all, here's an example where you can put the comma. So first of all, I want to say, you know, here you can say there's a comma over there. So it's, you know, separating the clauses or it can be adding it. So I didn't think much of the film. Helen, on the other hand, enjoyed it. Helen, on the other hand, enjoyed it. So, commas are often used to mark or connecting adverbs or adverbial phrases or clauses. So, we can say that now commas can be used in order to add the clauses. So, now moving to the, some important notes of the connective and conjunctions is connecting adverbs and conjunctions function differently. Conjunctions join clauses with a sentence. And connecting adverbs, like however, connect ideas, but the clauses remain separate. Yes, these important things to know about it. You have to understand that. That connecting adverbs are and conjunctions function differently. Conjunctions like but and although join clauses within a sentence. So we can say that the conjunctions are used to join the clauses together. But in case of connecting adverbs, they do not join two clauses together. But what happens? They connect with the idea. So it connects idea, but the clauses remain separate. Yes, this is important thing to know that the clauses remain separate. Now, I was angry, but I didn't say anything. But as a conjunction, one sentence. So I was angry. But I didn't say anything. So here we can see that these two clauses are joined completely just because of this but. Although I was angry, I didn't say anything. So also we can say that although is her, you know, kind of a conjunction and one sentence. Although I was angry, I didn't say anything. Now I was angry. However, I didn't say anything. 
So however is used to connect the idea, but these two clauses are completely separated to each other. I was angry is a different clause. I didn't say anything, it's a different clause. And however is the word which is connecting the ideas of both the clauses, but are is not connecting the two clauses together. So it's all from my side. We have discussed what are connective, what are conjunctional, the different aspects, and bunch of this. So I hope this video is helpful for you. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much, students, for joining G Lecture. We're gonna meet in more videos. Thank you.